and welcome to Rosie Crafted Colours. Um, I'm making a video today to do a flip and review of the new book by Christine Caron and it's the Fairy in Fantasy 2 Line Art Colouring Book. Now this is my first ever Christine Caron book. Um, I think it's beautiful. I have someone I follow on Instagram called um, Lynn underscore Kalut underscore I think I'm not sure how to say the last bit but I will uh, link it here on screen and I was inspired to buy one of Christine Caron's book because of her because her colourings in Christine Caron's books are so lovely and yeah I've it gave me the inspiration to buy one so I'm really glad I did so here is the book it's a little under A4 size and there are 24 images in here all line art now let's have a little look I have coloured a page in here and I'll show you further on. So the book starts with this lovely um, book belongs to page, which I'm looking forward to colouring in. It's very pretty. It's almost like a page in its own right. And a really nice thing about this book, this is Amazon printed, by the way, is that Christine Karen has, has, has some um, coloured artwork in here, which is lovely. Her style of colouring is beautiful and if you haven't checked out her Instagram and looked at how she colours skin, it's amazing. I mean, look at all these colours. I've, I've never coloured skin like that. I think I'd like to give it a go because it is stunning. So there's a little bit here about where to find more about her. And here are the names of all of the pages. Um, I have seen these pages before. So I think some of them, if not all of them, are available as PDFs on her Etsy page. So there are 20 main images and four bonus images. So we start off with this lovely sugar plum fairy image. Every page has the name um, of the page. And now this is really pretty. I've seen people colour this on Instagram. Very beautiful page. I really like it. So pretty. And there is this hydrangea page. I love hydrangeas, they're beautiful flowers. So this could be really lovely. I would probably colour it to be lilac hydrangeas or blue hydrangeas would be quite nice. Yeah, a really pretty page. Um, just as a note, I feel like this paper is a little thicker than the usual Amazon print paper. That might just be in my imagination, but I think it is. So here is a little red riding hood with the wolf behind her and I think this is a lovely page. I love how it's framed because sometimes I feel like I've coloured the picture in the middle and I have to do a background and I don't always like to colour backgrounds. So I like a page like this where it's framed so you, you know that's all you're going to be colouring. But yeah, beautiful wolf. I really like how there's some of the sketch lines. It really help will help when um, you come to colour the fur on this wolf. Beautiful. And here is the Summer Night Fiddler. Here she's a fairy, an elf girl actually, playing the violin. A beautiful page. And this sweet page I've seen coloured a couple of times and it is lovely, isn't it? Really lovely. You can see the night sky and some sort of cracking is happening to her. So at first glance, this is just a really pretty page with a girl with a rose. But then you see there's actually a bit of a dark theme at the bottom really beautiful I keep saying beautiful I'm very sorry <laughs> but this book is very beautiful so here we are with the beloved and I think this is a really nice picture uh, it's got some pretty roses got a tree framing them and then here seems to be a woman with her beloved elf male maybe this is a human maybe this is um, a love that's not meant to be. Beautiful. Sorry, I said it again. And this is the image from the front of the book that is coloured by Christine in her, in her beautiful and unusual art style. So this is a sea themed page. I really like how her hair looks like it's sort of like seaweed or anemones. Really nice. And here is the Midnight Enchantress. Yeah, I like this. Um, I like how 
her hair is coming down and it's plaited and it's coming round to frame the page. I think that's really clever and the flowers are coming out of her hair too. I've seen this coloured by a few people, this wild berry bloom. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, really fun if you like to colour strawberries or raspberries or blackberries or anything like that. And there's a little bee um, collecting pollen from a flower on her head. This one is the Queen's Chalice and this will be really fun for colouring metal, which is something I'm really having fun doing recently. So I could do her crown and necklace and goblet um, in gold and maybe even this filigree could be in gold too. Um, you've got these like, uh, they look like tulips when they're closed but I think they're lilies. They look more like lilies. And here's a beautiful one called Angel Eyes which is a bit of a sort of Cupid style picture. Very pretty. And here's the one I've coloured which is the Wood Elfling and I had a great fun colouring this. I actually coloured this in, I'll grab one, um, these WH Smith's pencils. I've had them for a long time and I actually bought a new set and they're very cheap. They cost uh, about £10 for a set of 24, something like that. Really good. But they're from, in case you're not from the UK, they're from a UK store called WH Smith, which is a stationery and bookstore and newsagent. So, yeah, a really good pencil, I find. You know, along the lines of Crayola, maybe just a little bit more pigmented than Crayola, maybe. But yeah, I coloured it on this paper and it did do okay. There's a little bit of warping on the page, but I'm really happy with this picture. I'm particularly happy with the apple. I think I coloured it really well. And her hair has got lots of different highlights. So I'm happy with that page, especially seeing as I've used a budget brand pencil. So I'm happy to have got those back out again because I haven't used them for a while. And I do like them as pencils. I think they're decent pencils. So there we go. There's my page that I coloured and I'm very happy with it. And here is, like you can see here at the back of the page where the warping has, hopefully you can see where the warping has happened from the pencil. And that's because I've had to um, really colour hard to get the, get the payoff, the colour payoff. So this is Forest Song and if you have a look, his dreadlocks are little trees and the birds are landing upon him. It's a bit like a Pied Piper, isn't he? This one's really, really lovely. It was one I thought about colouring because I like sunflowers. Um, I think she'd be really gorgeous in a dark skin tone um, with the sunflowers. I think that would be so beautiful. Browns and with the yellows from the sunflowers and maybe some red, something like that. Like keep it really warm. Yeah, I like that page a lot. This is one I almost coloured in as well because I've had this on Etsy in my um, cart. And I've been wondering about buying it, but I don't tend to colour a lot of PDFs. I prefer books, to be honest. But yeah, this is one I almost coloured because I really do like this. And I've seen this coloured by a few people as well. And every time I've seen it, I've thought it looks fantastic. I've seen this one coloured a lot as well. This is where Last Harvest, a very beautiful autumnal page. I'm saying beautiful a lot. I'm so sorry. And it's quite nice because, again, it's framed and I do like a framed picture. And this looks to be like the geese flying flying um, home. It's a gorgeous page. I love the leaf fall and everything. Beautiful in autumnal fall colours. This page I have seen coloured many times since um, Halloween. And I think it is wonderful. I haven't seen it coloured um, in any way that I thought, oh, that's not a good colour scheme. And I've seen it in a variety of ways coloured in and I've loved every single colour scheme and way people have coloured it in. I've loved the backgrounds people have added. I adore her hair. I really love this sort of wavy curly hair. It's so fun to colour. So this will definitely be coloured soon. She's got her magical orb which is going to be fun to colour and come up with some design ideas for that. And here we have Small Wonders which is just the sweetest picture. We've got our little snowy owl and a little elf carrying her little elf child and she's catching snowflakes. Very magical winter's picture. And here we have one called Dark Eyes. And it seems to be like a, a raven themed picture or crows maybe. So 
for me you've got your, your white calla lilies here and I would definitely go with a gothic colour tone for this because with the um the crows and things so maybe some really black purples and midnight blues gorgeous picture and here it's fallen it, it's a, a winged elf carrying his his beautiful elf lady that he's obviously in love with she appears to have some kind of tail and he has his sort of bat like wings maybe he's a bad elf and she's a good elf that would be a quite interesting way to color it color him as um in sort of quintessential bad colors you know sort of dark colors and her in light colors like she's like it's um star-crossed lovers very romeo and juliet i've seen this colored a few times as well the cup of warmth picture really nice picture i think this would be a nice easy one to color too and this one i have seen so many times colored and every time i've loved it i've seen that hair coloured in so many ways, in bright blues, teals, rainbow, pinks, you name it, I've seen that hair coloured in it and I adore it. This page is wonderful and the way that some of the colourists that I have seen colour it have decided to go with their page, I have been astounded. Just gorgeous and this is definitely one of the pages that really made me think I need to try some of Christine Caron's art. Now here we have Polar Bear's Comfy Evening, which is a little bit different from the other pages. Um, yeah, and it is really cute. It's lovely, isn't it? So I probably will get around to colouring this one, but it's not one that speaks to me volumes. And this was definitely in the Colouring Heaven Australia um, edition, which was trying to raise money for one of the um, Australia funds that were bought up when were made when Australia were experiencing really bad forest fires um, earlier in the year, I believe it was, in the end of last year. So this was one of those pictures in that um, edition and it's really lovely. I love the koala and, and the um, kangaroo or possibly a wallaby if you want it to be. And the little boy here riding upon his kangaroo. Beautiful with the Aboriginal style art. Love it. So here at the back is um, I think this is all the books that she has out and she does do this in a grayscale too so if you prefer grayscale she does do it in grayscale I think every one of her books comes in in both so that is the book and a little bit of information here about Christine Caron she's a Karen, she's, um, Canadian and a little information where you can find her on YouTube, Etsy etc but that is the book and I am really pleased I bought it. I think it's a lovely book. I'm pleased with the page I coloured. Um, I especially like my apple because it looks like the apples that we've got in our apple in our fruit bowl at the moment. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the book. Have you got it? Are you going to buy it? Um, and I'll see you soon. Happy colouring, sweeties. Bye.